name is Zach, and I'm going to be talking about testing for iOS. And that, that doesn't mean like, um, like writing tests for your app. It means actually getting the app into people's hands so that they can start giving you feedback and um, testing out. And I think there are three fundamental issues with testing currently. And I'm going to go through them first, and then I'm going to tell you how I'm overcoming those and making the testing process a whole lot more easy for people, a whole lot easier for people. And the first one is um, just the process of getting a build out to people. And so right now what it is is um, you get a device ID or you get a whole bunch of device IDs which are supposedly being deprecated or whatever's happening with those, I don't know, but you get a whole bunch of device IDs, which one is a pain because half the people don't know how to get those device IDs. Um, and that's just a shitty process in itself. If you've ever tried that without having their phone in front of you, it's annoying. So you get those, then you have to upload them to iTunes Connect. Um, then you have to get a new provisioning profile, then you have to rebuild the app, and then you can distribute that. Right, which is uh, not a very good way to, to have to do that. Because for every individual one, like if some people lag and take a week to get their device IDs or whatever, it's just an annoying process to have to do um, and go through. Um, secondly is the 100 device limit. Because um, every time I get a client or I start working with new people or I make new friends, uh, <laughs> you have to add devices. I mean, I have six myself, and the problem is these devices last for a year, so it's not like you have, ooh, like, it's not like you have 100 devices for the, um, at one single time, like, if you're no longer friends with them, or they're no longer testing for that specific application, um, you know, it's just wasted, you've wasted a device ID, and you're stuck with that for the rest of the year. Um, you can delete them, but they still count as one. Um, and the third thing is the actual process of once they get the build and you give it to someone, the process of installing on their phone. And so, like, I use TestFlight, which is supposedly the easiest way to go about it. And, um, and they get an email, and then they click on a link in that email, and it pops out to, uh, to the TestFlight site. They click install, and it says, oh, you need to install a provisioning profile, and they start, most of the time click OK. And then they come back and it says, do you want to install this app? And then they press install and magic happens. And then, um, you know, and a lot of people get confused with that process. And I feel like I'm coaching them through it half the time. Um, saying, this is what's going to happen. Oh, I'm going to have to do this, that, and whatever. And, um, you know, I found one of the projects that I'm working on, we're doing um, continual testing through this process where um, a pop-up, shows with an application when a new when a new build is available and they press OK install and then it pops out to test flight then they have to click install and then it goes and installs that and that's 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 a decent way of doing things. Uh, but I found a solution that makes everything magical and it's probably not but it's again completely against Apple's terms of service. Um, and so I, I just did my first enterprise um, deployment today. And I found that the process is super easy, super, super easy. You do one build, um, you upload it to the web, and you basically make this link that whenever someone clicks on it, it just pops up and says, do you want to install? So there's none of this getting, um, building the application with new provisioning profiles each time. You don't have to get their device ID, none of that shit. There's no 100 device limit. And um, you just give them a link and say, here's the app, install it, tell me what you think. All of a sudden, that makes testing so much easier because they click on the link, it pops up, says, do you want to install? They click install, and then it starts installing on their phone. I, it's like almost easier than the App Store, um, than downloading apps from the App Store. And, and so um, I'm pretty sure well, right now I'm going to sign up for an enterprise account so I can start testing through that way. Um, I think it's completely worth the $2.99 um, if you if you're a full-time iOS developer and you test with lots of people because it just makes everything so much easier. It's like, it's like, I don't know, it's the, it's the greatest thing I've ever experienced. Wow, that's, that's, that's really going far. Um, no, but it's, it's just so much easier. It's going to save so much time and you don't have to 
you don't get this confusion about, oh, I gave you my ID now, um, how do I get the app? So it's, it's like, you, right now there's this really weird thing that's like, can, can you test my app? And they're like, yeah, sure, that sounds awesome. And you're like, well, give me this, your device ID. And they're like, well, how do I do that? And you have to coach them through that. Then they give you the ID, then you have to make a new build, and then you send out the build to them, and they're like, how do I install this? And yeah, it's like, okay, you just click the install link. And, uh, and then it installs, and then they can test it. Um, with this, the, the process is, hey, can you test out my app? They go, yeah, that's awesome. And you're like, here's the link, click on it on your phone. Boom, it's installed, and they can give you a feedback within less than a minute, um, which is super awesome. Um, I mean, like, I'm not gonna use an enterprise account for like mass distribution, that's not my intention, it's just, I don't want to necessarily be restricted to 100 devices, and I want the testing process to be easier. Um, I'm not trying to circumvent the App Store, I'm just trying to get around the shit testing suite that Apple, well, not suite, just shit process that Apple has with testing, it's like everything's going to be signed and all that shit. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think, if there's anyone watching this, uh, just wanted to upload this to YouTube. Um, I don't know, so I can look back and see how naive I was at some point. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you, if you do watch this and you do know anything about iOS stuff, um, let me know down there, unless they move the comment thing somewhere. Um, and click subscribe, or whichever side it is, <laughs> if you want to see more stuff. Um, me talking about iOS, or development, or design, or UX. Um, or building a business around apps um, because I totally have credibility on all those topics and you'd love to hear from me. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks. Bye.